A Deep Ellum man says everything he and his daughter owned was thrown in a dumpster after the management of his apartment building accidentally ordered maintenance to clean out his rental. It turns out apartment management had the wrong unit number, and now that man says that he is out tens of thousands of dollars. Building management argues he never should have been living there to begin with. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello is on your side tonight. Used to have a couch here, a TV stand with the TV. After Johnny Abney spent years building a life. This was my daughter's snack drawer. For himself and his nine-year-old daughter. It was a closet full of clothes. This is all that's left of their stuff. Everything gone. Everything they own. Clothing items, all my groceries. They cleared out my whole refrigerator full of groceries. Is gone. Well, we had a shower curtain here. Not stolen, thrown in the dumpster by order of the management at the Hamilton, the high-end mid-rise apartment building where Johnny and his daughter lived in the deep Ellum neighborhood of Dallas. They came to my door and cleaned everything out from my daughter's clothes to my clothes to everything from a toothbrush, bathing items like they pretty much left me with nothing. It's all in this police report Johnny filed when he returned home from work in late July to find his apartment door unlocked and the contents cleared out. According to the report's narrative, a leasing agent on site said there was a misunderstanding and maintenance accidentally cleared out Abney's unit instead of the unit next door where a tenant was being evicted. All of Johnny's belongings had been thrown in the dumpster hours earlier and had been picked over by the other residents. This is video Johnny took of his discarded stuff. He says his mattress had been urinated on. Not only did they put my stuff out, they watched people take all my property all day. Property management offered to get what they could from the trash and return it to Johnny's unit. Johnny said they even had that stained mattress professionally cleaned. But most of his and his daughter's stuff was gone for good. This door is completely gone, and this one, they just completely just broke it. Much of what did make it back from the dumpster he showed us was damaged. They told me that it was a mistake. They apologized the first night. They were overly apologetic, like, let us know anything missing. But that quickly took a turn. Even though it was your stuff, it's her apartment. It's under her name. The contract is in her name and her name solely. This is video Johnny recorded of a conversation he had with one of the leasing agents who was quick to point out the apartment in which he and his daughter lived was leased by his ex-girlfriend who had since moved out of state. Johnny was subletting without permission and even though these receipts provided to us by an attorney for the Hamilton show that Johnny paid the near $3,000 in rent each month, any direct discussion about making him whole was off the table. We are binded, like, by law. We cannot discuss anything with anybody that is not her. According to this lawsuit Johnny has now filed against the property management company, they gave him 24 hours to fill out his own rental application or face eviction. I've already lost property. Now you're trying to kick me off the property at short notice with no resolve. Here's the eviction notice. It was posted on his door the next day. Rent was paid in full. There was no reason to go into his apartment. There was no reason to throw anything away. Jason Friedman is Johnny's attorney. He says the issue of who was on the lease is irrelevant. The apartment building, they didn't know when they threw all that stuff away whose stuff it was whether it was the person on the lease or his. And adds, Johnny chose not to fill out the application or pay the fee required for one very simple reason. He chose not to because he said, I want to resolve the situation with my property that you threw away before I decide if I'm going to stay in this building. An attorney for the Hamilton, who would not speak to us on camera, but did communicate by phone and email, said on behalf of the building, even if Johnny did fill out the rental application, he would have been denied because he already violated the lease terms as an unauthorized occupant. With me losing all my property, like, that's the last thing on my mind. According to the lawsuit, the Hamilton also alleged there was counterfeit money pulled from Johnny's things. Another reason they say he would not be welcome to stay. We asked them to provide a police report, photos, or video any evidence at all they provided none they left me without underwear toothpaste everything back at johnny's among the discarded pile of trashed school supplies with which his daughter was supposed to start the fifth grade we found our own this play money clearly marked as copy right next to what's left of his daughter's bed
We sent a list of questions to the Hamilton via their attorney. They all went unanswered. They would not sit down with us for an on-camera interview. They did say that they asked Johnny for a list of what was missing from his refrigerator so that they could establish a value for reimbursement. Johnny says that actually never happened. He and his daughter moved out just a few days after we met him. They are now staying with family temporarily.